Hi everybody and welcome to this qualifying round guide video for Pro Division in the full major on this lovely new course here on the channel. Please give me a thumb up and if you want leave me a comment, it really helps me out. This is free content so anything that you can do to help boost the channel and the engagement here is greatly appreciated. Totally free to give me a thumbs up as well and it's also free to subscribe. Plenty of drops coming up and on a couple of holes that I didn't drop I give you my suggestions of tweaks that you can implement on these setups to get yourself drops there as well. Remember, as with all content, no matter whose content you're watching, it's always best if you can take a token or two, familiarise yourself with these setups, get yourself some wind angle tweaks built in as well. But we've got a great score for you to build on here. So good luck, everybody. Let's begin with hole number one. On hole number one, we're going to play a no movement target approach because otherwise there's no real references for where to put our rings. Uh, so sniper and a katana, leave the target where it is, half a bar of top spin, two and a half bars side spin to the left. And you'll see once we've added spin, the ball guide will be deliberately offset to the left of pin quite a bit. So no movement target there, add your spin. And then we're going to adjust mid distance 15% elevation. Power 2 settings, even though I've got Sniper 9, I'm using Sniper 10 numbers here in my app. So I would encourage all of you Sniper users, regardless of your club level, use Sniper 10 numbers just so you've got the same amount of rings to adjust because the accuracy is absolutely the same. And this one drops with our adjustment for a hole in one. On the second hole, we're going to play with the Berserker on the right-hand side to remove the need of max overpower. Four and a half top spin, two bars side spin to the left. And with the extra mile level eight, I'm setting up at the top of plus 24. That would be plus 26 with the extra mile uh, six or seven. And plus 23 with the extra mile nine. Of course, if you've got a more accurate driver, you can use that as well, as long as it has the right distance. Uh, just max plus 10 takes me into overpower. I'm going to add a little bit onto that. So in the end, uh, I adjust in just over half a ring of overpower. I go with where the circle breaks, which is about one ring. So I'm adding around half a ring on just to make sure I'm going to clear it nicely here and get some nice distance on my drive. Uh, it's not a ridiculous amount of overpower, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue to hit perfect. Drive distance, 372. Second shot is all about finding the funnel and you might need to uh, change your spin around in order to find the right spot. But as a rule, I would start with two bars of side spin to the left and then just move around this approximate area here and try and find the point where the ball guide is not moving around at the tip of it. If you need to re-spin once you're in the funnel, do that to make sure you've got the ball guide going to the hole. Then we're using landing position plus yards plus seven here I play 82% slider, 5% elevation. That is also with sniper 10 numbers. Um, plus seven here with sniper nine would be plus five with sniper 10. So make sure you apply the right numbers to your shot. And uh, we catch the funnel nicely and we just sneak this one in. Could maybe have that bull guide another pixel or two into the cup, but a very nice albatross nonetheless. On hole number three, I'm going to do a rough and roll out shot on the left hand side because it gets us into end bringer range. So with the extra mile and a Titan, uh, I'm going with 4.2 top spin and two bars side spin to the left. If you have strong wind here around seven miles an hour plus, I would dial back the top spin to four because then that would just counter any extra wind push. Red ring touching the rough on the left and it will be at the top of plus 14 with the extra mile eight. Uh, max with extra mile six and seven and of course extra mile nine would be top of plus 13. Uh, adjust max plus 10 here uh, on the adjustment power three um, and then we're going to take our shot. Um, heavy great right may well risk the water here so if you are a great right hitter then I would um, go with a little bit of left curl to compensate but take a token or two have a feel for the shot. We get second bounce in the rough and the top spin takes us out very nicely and it's not risking the water at all. 345 yards. From there, you're going to have an end bring a shot for your eagle. So uh, apply the no spin method. Usual elevation adjustments apply. If you don't know this method, check out my academy tutorial playlist, quick fire tutorial on the end bringer. Uh, you can learn the method in about four minutes, so it won't take you very long at all. 
If you are doing this though, turn the enhanced graphics off because as you can see, it blurs the rings here on the green and the fringe. Uh, so it would make the adjustment a whole lot easier. But you're gonna have a, a very nice end bringer here. Not gonna risk the eagle at all as long as you measure your club distance accurately. Perfect ball away here. Gonna bounce beautifully, check for nice landing spots and we drop it for the eagle. Nice easy way to get your eagle on hole three. Nasty wind angle on hole four. We've got a drop for you though. Gonna recommend you go with a kingmaker in all winds. Three bars of side spin to the left is all you need here. No top spin, no back spin. Once you've added your left spin, you're gonna set up here with the ball guide as shown and it's gonna be deliberately missing to the right and going long. So just have a look at this one. A red ring is just around the rough line and the ball guide there going to the fringe Pause the video, rewind it, have a look at the dark green column where that tip of the ball guide is and you can see it's missing over a cup to the right. The adjustment is max plus 50 power three. The wind angle here has a great effect on the ball. Lower level snipers, I admit here, is gonna be a struggle. So you might need a bit of a rethink if you've got sniper eight or lower. Sniper nine or 10, you should be absolutely fine to make your adjustment though. Uh, catches the rough very nicely, great balls safe either side, and we drop it for a hole in one. Tough wind angle though on hole four. Another brilliant chance for the eagle on hole five. We're going to go big topper for the top spin to remove any need of overpower or a power five ball. Max top spin, and as you can see with big topper five, I'm at max distance with the ball guide pointing down the middle of the right hand section of fairway. Adjust max plus 10, we're using a Titan. Now be careful where you adjust here because you've got to adjust off that little plateau. It is going to jam the adjustment slightly. You'll see it jitter around. So just make sure you've got the right amount of rings even if your ball guide gets a bit obscured. Once we've done that, if you've got the ability to push up to max, I would do so um, with this club level. If you've got the wind angle for it, just to give you a few extra yards. And then of course, hit perfect. All important thing with the big topper due to low club accuracy. It bounces very nicely, and we roll up into the tree shadow here. Drive distance, gonna be around 360 to 370 yards. From there, you're gonna have a simple wedge, normal end bringer school method for the eagle. Hole number six, close to the albatross here, but what I've put on the notepad is a tweak that will help you get it even closer, if not in. Going with the kingmaker, four and a half top spin, three bars side spin to the left, Small gap between the blue ring and the rough, and the blue ring on top is touching the bricks. There we are at, with the extra mile level eight, we're at the top of plus seven. That would be top of plus nine with extra mile seven. We're gonna push adjust our rings here because the trees otherwise will get in the way of your view of the rings to adjust. So push these and we're going max plus 20, power three settings. Great right here should be fine. Um, if you're worried about a great right, a hefty one will end up in the water, though. Single great right should be fine. If you are worried about it, though, aim a little bit more to the left or play with a little bit of left curl. Um, but it looks like there's enough room there with our max plus 20. And we're rolling with this precision drive to a drive distance of around 360 yards. Second shot, playing with the sniper here. And I want to find a consistent point to bounce uh, and I would recommend you try and set up with the white ring touching the rough on the left and just vary your spin slightly. You might need to change around a bit here just to make sure you've got a good route to the pin. Depends where you are with your drive as well but I think you're always going to need pretty much all left spin and then back spin as needed. Just leave the ball guide to the front of the cup here uh, in the video, I play a different adjustment than what's on the notepad. I think I played 25% elevation instead. So for a plus one with sniper nine, I would recommend in this scenario going 70% slider, 30% elevation. Once again, I'm pushing the rings because those trees are in the way yet again. Uh, so landing position plus 30% here, plus one, 70% slider. That's the reference. You might need a little bit of a tweak as well but here gives you a very good starting point. You can see the speed is nice here. Second bounce on the fairway, third bounce on the fringe, just missing to the right-hand side on this par five. Hole seven, very easy eagle. You can even tweak this one and get a hole in one if you want to. 
up to you. Um, extra mile and a berserker, one bar of backspin, two bars of side spin to the left, stretch out to absolute max position with the red ring touching the rough on the left there. Now, to show you that this is doable with an extra mile seven, uh, I'm going to pull back two yards. So I get a plus 28. Uh, if you got extra mile nine, I would pull back another yard just to replicate. So I'm going to just demonstrating that this is going to work fine with a lower level club. Max plus 20, power five, leave it where it is. Full overpower, slower needle. And then here I go out a wall curl to the left. If you want to pursue the hole in one, go half a ball of curl to the left instead. I didn't have time to try that one um, because we've got fairly close. It's a very easy putt here. But like I say, if you want to go with a hole in one attempt, you could either shunt your landing position to the left or play with a bit more curl. But either way, easy eagle on hole seven. Hole number eight, going to play with the rock here and a power three ball. Uh, in high winds, I would switch to a king maker here just to give yourself more control on the drive. Uh, but we're playing with two bars of left spin. And then I'm going with the top of the white ring touching the rough at um, top of plus 11 yards with the rock level seven. Rock, uh, rock level eight, obviously that will be plus six. Uh, rock level nine would be plus five. Uh, just max plus 20 on this one because the tailwind is going to give it an extra push. Like I said, anything around 6.7 and above in wind, I would actually change to a kingmaker just in case that pushes you too far on the landing spot or indeed the rollout. Uh, not tested that in high winds, so it's up to you. But a uh, very nice controlled drive here with a rock for the ball guide and accuracy gives us 331 yards. Second shot, playing near max distance or in fact at max distance with sniper nine. Red ring touching the rough. Then we're going to add spins from that position to have the ball guide pointing at the hole but we're going to leave it intentionally short because this is downhill and we also have tailwind. So you can see there about four green squares short of the pin. I am aiming just around at the pin here. Um, might need a little bit of a tweak with the aim though. We'll see how this one comes in after we've taken our shot. The adjustment here, play max plus 20 or rather true club distance. If you push the drive a little bit harder, uh, then you might want to take a few percent off on your slider. But max plus 20 here, playing sniper 10 numbers, I believe. Perfect ball away. And I think the speed is good on this one. Just might want to tweak the aim a little bit. Bounces very nicely, rolls onto the green, just missing on the left-hand side. So it is tweakable for the albatross there on hole eight. Last but by no means least, a very tricky hole uh, here. Hole number nine, par three. With the grizzly, box the blue ring in. So have it touching the rough and also the bunker simultaneously. Once you've found your position, add spin. Three and a half back spin, two and a half left spin. Sorry about the weird spin amounts there. Um, but sometimes it's nice to just have the ring references. Uh, ball guide intentionally above and to the right of the pin to account for the wind push. Adjustment here, max plus 30, power four settings and grizzly nine numbers. This will need wind angle tweaks. So build those in if you want to get ultimately dialed in here in qualifying round. Just pay attention, pay attention to your wind strength and wind angle. But a perfect ball away here. We just sneak this one in. Very tough hole though, this one. Don't underestimate it. It is much tougher than it looks. Falls in just around the cup there for a hole in one on hole nine. Thank you very much for watching this full major video here on the channel. Hope you found it useful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this new course and how you are getting on in your games. Finally, join us over on Facebook. Over 11,000 members on the BK Golf Clash Facebook group. There's loads of other content creators sharing their shots, tips and guides on there. Totally free to join and free to enjoy their content as well. There's also some brilliant discussion points. So if you've got anything you need help with in the game, ask around in the group. Loads of members that will help you out regardless of your skill level. Thank you for watching and good luck. Bye for now.